So my thought process was instead of drawing petals like you'd see a lot, I'm gonna just do circles and then draw the stick through to create the petals. And then I can control the blobs if I don't have it thick enough. Um, but I need to get going because otherwise it's gonna start setting up and I won't be able to have the bloom that I want of my petals. So I'm just pulling this back into the center. That one's perfect, that one's perfect. Okay, so the farthest one away from me, and I'm gonna do a little one in here so that Okay, just right in the center here. I always forget to do that, and I always like to do this, so. I love you, Ava. I love you. Should I do glitter as my background? No. Okay, so that's the first one. Okay, my hand. What, honey? Why does pink? Why does cake keep getting on the pink cookies? I don't know. Cause I dropped them this morning and I didn't want them to spill. The nice part about doing the circles is you can actually make them a little bit thicker. Just don't spill any resin like I just did. This pink has a lot of alcohol ink because I was trying to correct my mistake I made, the color. Oh, starting to... And I vary the starting points on these so you don't have um, a glob line if you do get it too thick. I've never used this white pigment in a flower before. The other reason why I like to do it this way is you don't have to be as exact on your circle. Sorry, I have to concentrate or I'll make a mess. Okay. I like the thickness of this. It's helpful to me. Sometimes I don't get thick enough. Hold it like that. I might um, torch this again before I start drawing my petals in. Now the uh, attention to it is not to touch the edge of your mold. Resin will grab onto it and you won't get your petal shape right. Like I just did right there.
pink a little bit thicker in this round let's go, go back over it a little bit So I'm going to follow the petal length. I'm going to use the not sharp side and I'm going to go here. Wipe. 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 Try not to disturb the glitter. Go around all the way around once and then I'll pull it back up. It's very thick, you see that? It's not bad though. It's not a bad thing to have it that thick. And I put a nice amount of alcohol ink, so that should definitely allow a reaction. I hope it turns out, you guys. Oh, I hope it turns out. Oh, I'm loving it. It's not the right pink, but... need to clean the towel. I'll be right back. Oh, it's looking cool. I'm so excited. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait like four or five hours and then I'll do the top coat and then I can demold it tomorrow. Oh yes, that was the right choice. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Definitely don't want to pull it back over like I just did. That was dumb. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. It's blooming on its own right now. I can see little bits of it blooming. Oops, I did it again. So messy when I resin. I didn't pull to the center on that because I don't want to drag the glitter too far. I 
the sale. This is going to be really pretty. Okay. What do we think so far? Okay, I'm going to torch it just to pop some bubbles, and then I'm going to do the heat gun bloom. Mix it up like that. You create lots of big bubbles. Why does it do that? It's so irritating. Okay. So I gotta. Oops. Doing all my mess. Gotta find the plug in for my heat gun here. All right, you guys. So outer edge, not too close, not too much. Low heat, all that good stuff. Move it around, heat it up, and then push. 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 was so thick I didn't see any of that drop down so I think we're good on that oh I'm so freaking excited you guys I'm gonna put this in my drying spot but I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and I'll come back so see you in a few okay I just wanted to check back in so you could see the progress it's been a little longer I was planning on doing like 10 or 15 minutes it's been about an hour and a half or so and I definitely think I have a successful bloom here. I'm super excited to see how this is going to turn out. The white is so sparkly and bright. And the glitter looks like it's where I wanted it to be. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do for the back color. I just don't know. But I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. All right, you guys. Just wanted to do a quick check-in with you so you could see the progress. I don't know which one's my favorite yet. The pink is not the color I wanted it to be. So that's why I'm not sure what I want to do as far as the back color. I think I'll ask my hubby when he gets home what he thinks I should do. All right, guys, we'll see you for the back color. Bye for now. Welcome back to Pouring Through Life. So it's ready. A little sneak peek, you can kind of see. I'm pretty sure it worked. Um, it's already completely cured. I'm kind of surprised. It's not even been six hours. <laughs> so I've been sitting here contemplating what to add, what do I want as my backdrop for it. So I settled on this holographic. It says holographic plum glitter by Slice of Moon. It's really pretty interesting stuff. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna step about five ounces of resin. Figured um, an ounce per coaster. Look at this stuff, isn't that interesting? Trippy. I was gonna add um, some mica powder. I have a few different ones, but I'm not going to, because it'll mute, it will mute the um, holographic. So I'll mix this up and I think we're ready to go. I'm just going to split it evenly because I think I got all of these pretty much equal um, as far as what I put in here initially. It's pretty equal. 
just hope that's not gonna be a funky contrast. I don't know. We shall see, we shall see. That might have been too much for that one. Whoopsie. Kind of interesting <laughs> pigment or glitter, I guess, is what it is. I thought it was a pigment when I first bought it. I didn't realize it was just glitter, but it's kind of different. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate this. So I want these to kind of. Um, work themselves around without overflowing that is. Oh, my shoulder hurts tonight. It's cured up, but it's still pretty soft and bendy, so I don't want to mess anything up here. I'm going to give it a little help. I like it. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Um, I think, gosh, at least six, eight months, maybe longer. It's kind of fun, actually. I had a good time making this. So I'm just gonna spread these out and then I'm gonna kind of get down eye level and take a look and see where I'm at in the height of each coaster, and then I'm gonna divvy up this last little bit evenly, topping off each coaster so that it's good and even. here and then tomorrow morning we'll get a demold it and take a look at it and I am excited about that I'm excited about it though I've had some success doing this method not a huge amount though I have not had that great a luck let me throw a little bit of heat on here and get some of the um, any little bubbles in it. It also evens out the glitter so that one side isn't thicker than the other as far as consistency of the glitter. as I was doing that that I have a bunch of plaster all over here because I uh, demolded my project earlier today and yeah I don't want to get plaster all over this that would suck
around a little bit. So I probably won't do any more heat on this, but I will spritz it with an alcohol. And that way all the little bubbles will dissipate really easily with the alcohol. That's my nutty daughter. Okay, I think these are pretty full. Key is filling them up, but not overfilling them. Because as soon as you break the dome, it it just leaks and leaks and leaks. Get it to that point where it's domed, it just forced until you break that surface tension, you're good. Like this one's real full. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spurt some alcohol. All right, so that's all for now. We will see you in the morning for demolding. All right, bye for now. Good morning. Welcome back to Pouring Through Life. So I, it's time to demold these. Cool. I actually really like this glitter pigment thing. Okay, it's coming off nicely. I got a good dome on it, so it didn't. I don't think there's going to be a lip or anything. I haven't decided if I'm going to etch these. We'll see if I like them. Well, the problem is, is the gold hides the petals. It's really neat though. I don't know if I did right by the color on the back though. Sure jumps out at you. Pretty. What do you think? The other thing is I added the Cast and Craft white to the gold and it really muted it. Made it more of a tan with a little bit of sparkle is kind of a bummer. It's pretty. Oh, look at the side view. Huh. It's kind of interesting seeing the different layers. That turned out good though. As far as the petal formation, I'm going to do this again, but not with this coaster mold. So I don't know if I like the center. I decided to go with the color I did because I didn't want it to take away from the flower. I thought if I did anything that was too wild, this is pretty wild though. If I did anything that wasn't, you know, I don't know, I just thought it would take away from it. Pretty. I hate the pink. Shouldn't have used it. I almost didn't use it. I was in my head I was thinking, I don't know if I like how the color came out. The the sparkle in the center that I used is perfect. Perfect with this. Glitter combo was perfect. Love it. Didn't spread. Stayed right where I wanted it to. Pretty. Super happy with how the petals turned out. I just wish I could have seen them. Not happy with the lines in the center. I mean, they, they look good. They did what they were supposed to do. I just didn't think that they would cover that much up of the flower. So that's my mistake. I'm really happy with how 
the shape of the petals happened. I like that a lot. This one is really nice. Yeah, it's pretty. The white sparkle finally showed up in this one. It's really pretty. Kind of thinking that the alcohol ink pink bled into the white a little bit because it has a little bit of a pink hue to it. But it's really quite remarkable. I, might, I need to play around with that white more. It's really a good product. Um, I buy that from Just Paints Etsy page. And it it's pretty damn good stuff, honestly. Pretty happy with everything I've bought from her. So, you know, this one got the most pink in it, which I don't mind. I'm not a huge fan of the pink color, but interesting. Now I just have to decide. I don't think I'm going to etch it. I was going to do um, the gold line around it, but I actually kind of like it the way that it is. All right. Well, super happy that I got petals to work. I like it. it might not be exactly what I planned but I think it turned out good anyways all right you guys I hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment uh, if you have any questions I will link everything in the description box all the products I used colors glitters things like that and um, my contact information if you see any art on my youtube channel that you're interested in purchasing feel free to message me i also have a facebook group called pouring through life and i'd love for you to join it i go through i show all the art that i create on that page and what i i create way more than what i share on my youtube channel so i'd love for you guys to participate with that and i would really appreciate it if you subscribed if you haven't already and uh like comment and share all right you guys Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next pour. Bye for now.